Hi guys, my name is Karen. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, thank you very much for stopping by. And if you're returning, I appreciate your support. In today's video, I would like to review um, my favorite sundress pattern. It's the summer and I realize I haven't made a sundress. I normally do one every year and I'm afraid it's the same pattern. I've just adjusted it to somehow suit my needs because I find that the simplicity 8873 works for me. The, how do I put it? It's a close fitting top bodice and it has a circle skirt at the bottom. I find that this works well with the shape of my body. So I try to go with things that I find that are working for me instead of changing them. And this is one of those patterns. I haven't made view B yet because I'm just thinking it's too much fabric for me. I'm comfortable with view A. I've made it several times. Um, <laughs> when I say I've made it several times, I've made it several times. I think I've made this pattern. We'll see how many times I've made it. So again, the first one I'm going to take a look at is the one I have, or should I say the last one I made. Um, this one that I made, I'm not so, I wasn't so happy about it because it's, Sometimes you choose a fabric because it's ha it's happy, it's fun looking, but on second thought, I think this would have been better. It's fabric, the fabric is from Mood, and it's a cotton sateen. And I think this one would have been better for uh, a shorts, a, a, a really tailored shorts or something like that, um, and a fun top, not necessarily a, a fit and flare dress. Um, again, I haven't worn it yet. Anyway, let's talk about the dress. Um, so, on the insides, so this is basically what the dress looks like. I'll show it to you on the dress form if I can find one of it. So, this is what it looks like with the ties independently at the top, the back has a zipper all the way down, and I have this um, a yellow zipper going down in the back she has pockets on both sides I think yeah she does on the inside French French seams including the pocket I'm trying to get this thing to cooperate And then, oh my goodness, on the waistband has the green running across. And then the yellow zip on the inside, I have not finished yet because I've run out of, um, the bias tape, I want to do the same bias tape I have on the inside, the green on the inside, on the waist, on and on the hem. I just haven't gotten around to it yet because I'm not really wearing it. And the reason why I stopped is I'm thinking the zipper is yellow, so it would have been nicer to finish the and close the zipper, the ends, with yellow so it's not another green or something running across it. So that's why this piece is not finished because then I'd have to turn it in on itself in order to close all this up yet. So this is what this looks like. And this is the last one I made. And again, haven't worn it yet. I know I see why the zipper at the back, the inside need to be fixed. I won't wear it like that. So definitely need to fix that one. So this again is the last one I made and it's Simplicity 8873. And that's what I'm reviewing. They're all um, Simplicity 883. This one, I think is the first one I made. This fabric came from Style Maker Fabric. And this linen is absolutely beautiful. I loved it the first time I saw it, but I couldn't decide what to make. And so I decided to make this dress. If I can get it together. 
Yeah, so it's a beautiful linen from Style Maker Fabric. It's really thin. So I kind of lined it with um, a white voile because it's really it was really um, transparent. And on the inside, the facings, I finished with a color that's slightly the same as the flower and the ties at the end. This one just has a simple white zip going in on the back. The pockets for this one is not um, in enclosed or lined. I just use my share, um, what do you call that? My pinking shares and um, did the pockets. This was just done with the um, enclosed uh, seed I don't know what it's called. It wasn't done on my serger, but my machine has this foot that I can enclose seams with. I can't remember the name of it. I'm sorry. Yeah, so that was one um, that was done with this one. This one was made about four years ago. So yes, I haven't worn this one either. So that's two. The next one, this is another linen and I got this linen from Mood Fabric. This one is also very thin, extremely thin. So I had to kind of um, line the inside. The bodice was not lined. So this is what the bodice looks like with the tie at the end. Again, this one has the um, zipper running on the inside it's a white zipper um for this one i use something contrasting which is the blue to finish the spacing on the inside and then i kind of lined it and did the French seam on the inside down the pockets and closed the pockets with white and then I put the same bias tape the same color that I had on the facing at the top for this one yeah and this one was my first experience of um, doing uh, a lining and closing it on the fabric I have worn this one to the front and back in for a picture but I haven't worn um, outside yet have I worn any of them on the street I don't think I have <laughs> yeah I haven't worn this outside yet apart from taking picture or something in it but I absolutely love them I need to start wearing them the next one is this cotton sateen from mood and I bought this one because I absolutely love this the way it looked I thought okay this looks really nautical um, I love the way it looked to the point that I got some sandals just for this color to match because it looks so much all I need was like a, a trip to the beach or something that was that included water a picnic or something but I really love this fabric absolutely love it it came from what as i said it's cotton sateen and i have to check because this is made such a long time ago so this one i didn't do french seams what i did was enclose the seams for everything in this navy blue the zipper on this one let me check yeah the zipper on this one has the seams enclosed as well. The waist was done with the same color bias tape. The sides are finished, the pocket are enclosed. And then the facing for this one, I did the same bias tape running along the ends, the sides. And uh, I'm sorry, I'm trying to get it together. 
And this is what the back looks like enclosed. I think I'll wear one this weekend, just being at home. Yeah, so that's the other one. This is the next one. I got this fabric. I fell in love with the colors. It just looks like, I don't know, it was crazy colors. Most of it I like. The only thing that's new for me and not something I would try in this was the eggplant looking purplish color. But I love this the first time I saw it. I got it at Fabrics and Fabrics. And so because I love color, I bought it. This one, basically the same. Bias tape on the ends. This one I made a subtle color. A bias tape on the inside and closing the zipper and the reason why I chose this uh, color because the zip on the inside was beige so I wanted something to kind of enclose the seams on the on the zipper so I used the same a smaller bias tape just to finish it on the waist I did green to match the hem line down there I'm gonna sneeze I'm sorry and then on the back of this one yeah that's the zipper right there on the back I use this turning up on the back same bias tape on the facing and then the zipper is enclosed right there with that and the bias tape uh, covers the zippers on the end of this one that's the finish I wanted for the others that have not enclosed yet so that's why the others look like that and then the front looks like this with the finish there and so this one is completely sealed and finished and I haven't worn this one yet except for <laughs> taking a picture and then the last one which I haven't worn yet either this one this fabric came from fabrics and fabrics from the same uh, fabric store online of course and this one I wanted a spin I wanted a maxi dress a maxi dress for me they make me look kind of um, I, I don't want to say frumpy because that's not really uh, polite but that's it, it kind of it just doesn't look right when I wear it so I was trying for a maxi dress that uh, would use the same top, the same bodice. I wanted the same bodice because I knew basically that it fit my, um, it fits me well and I know the fitting. So all I needed was a skirt pattern and I had it just now. I don't know where I put it. Let me find it. So I use the same bodice that I got from Simplicity 8873. All I did was use the um, skirt from uh, McCall 7604. That's McCall 7604. I use this three pieces right here and I made the skirt for this one. So again, this is the bodice of this dress. Everything is the same as I've made with the others, with the exception of the three tiers. This one, two, and three. And I'll put up a picture of me actually wearing it. It's been in my other videos, but again, I'm just doing a review of all my favorite dresses, whether it's sundress or it's a work attire. So this one, I did a bit different because I didn't want to have the zip in the back as I did with all the others. So for me, I put the zipper on the side of this one. I'm trying to step out further so you can see it. That's the top. So the zip is on this side and I did not put pockets in this because I, was, I just wasn't sure since I'm moving the zipper how the pockets um, would go. So the zipper on the side, I, uh, tried to do the same color or something from it, the inside, so it would be okay. 
the zipper on this is sealed closed so I use the green from there the zipper is finished on the inside with the green the waist is also enclosed in this green all the way around um, let me turn it on the inside so you can see so again I finished it with the bias binding both the front and the back and then the zipper was moved to the side and so for the side zipper the uh, zipper the color of the zipper looks crazy on the inside <laughs> but if you look on the outside it's it just blends it's a good camel there is a zipper right there so it's okay um, so the zipper was enclosed all the way down to where I had the first tier starting and so I did the insides everything on the inside on the French seams I added them first on the outside and then just stitched them so I have one tier going on here and the other right there I'm gonna try to put it up again and see if it makes sense so the first tier right there and then that's the last one yeah so that's basically um, what they look like I think I've made let's count this one the two three four five six I think that's it I've made this dress six times no I think there's another one there's another one there's an orange and white one I no longer have but I made that one four years ago to that linen I got from Joanne's fabric <clears throat> I'm gonna put pieces of that one up as well I think that one was finished the bias I finished that one with orange bias tapes on the inside of the bodice and then I think the pockets were finished I'm not sure I, I'm gonna put the pictures up I don't I know I did it and I know how pictures of it so I'll, I'll check my pictures and insert them but yes there's another one that I've worn once as well and I'm gonna put that one up so you can take a look at it and you know see all the dresses I've made the sundresses yes so this again is my favorite sundress pattern I absolutely love it I think I will make it again but this time I think I'll make adjustments to it so um, I think I love it so much that this week I kind of spent my time trying to figure out my next sundress. It's going to be orange, of course, but I found another pattern that I'm going to be using for that. I think I'm going to be using, finally decided, I'm going to be using the bottom of this one, McCall's 7604, the same bottom I used for that um, long one. I'm gonna use this top Butterick 5353 um, I'm gonna show you a picture of why I'm gonna use this I had uh, drafted I looked on YouTube and um, somebody else had drafted this exact top before I found this pattern and so I copied from that person I think that person's name was Cynthia a uh, three or four years ago and I made a navy uh, navy blue border print lemon dress from that drafting with from Cynthia she had this top I always loved this top wanted this top and so I used that and I did some piping on the um on the top of it I'm gonna find it and insert that dress and um so you can see what I'm talking about but yeah this is what I'm gonna be using for the bottom this is what I'm gonna be using for the top and I'm gonna do this as my um, summer dress I've been back and forth, back and forth as to what to do with it. But if I don't cut this, I'm just going to go crazy. I've had this linen for a while. And like many of the other linens I have, I need to cut it. It's going to be my summer dress this this summer. And that's my that's been my summer dress the, all the other summers. I think it's time for me to change. But I'm, I'm going into it. I'm easing into it because, again, I'm 
once I find something that works for me, I, I kind of stick with it. And it's it's fabric and it's clothes. I need to venture out and stop doing the same thing. So that's what I'm going to be working on. So basically, thank you very much for stopping by and sharing with me and watching and taking a look at my uh, sundresses that I've made so far using the very same pattern, just making slight adjustments to suit me and my body type. Again, thank you very much for stopping by. Have a great day. Bye.